Shai, Shalom. Bracket the Yahawa, Bracket the Yahawa Shai, Bracket the Yahawa, Bracket the Yahawa Shai, Bracket the Yahawa, Bracket the Yahawa Shai. Ohola Yahawa, Yahawa Bashim, Yahawa Shai, Bashim, Rahab Bash. The ones to the elders and the apostles of the Muslim who will love, continue to shoot. Salutation to the hopeful elect, alright? Shalom, Lahab Akharia. Let me speak to the elect. Alright, to you brothers out there across the globe, pushing shoot for the righteousness and sincerity. Alright, and to you sincere sisters who hearken so diligently. Alright, Shalom, Ahab wa Barakia, and let's be slow with blessings. Alright, um, Kaya here coming back at you in another video. And this is going to be a, um, another testimonial, you know, alluding to, uh, the, 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 the short video that I had posted yesterday, you know, asking for brothers and sisters' prayers, you know, through the Spirit, man. And, um, so I just wanted to, you know, talk briefly about the situation. And uh, just, you know, just letting brothers and sisters know that, you know, everything is straight. Like, everything is okay. You know, everything is straight, man. And, um, yeah, I just want to speak on that, you know. Um, so what happened yesterday was my, my neighborhood, you know, my neighborhood, you know, caught national attention for, uh, for four, four trailers exploding, you know, um, almost simultaneously, you know, almost at the same time and things of that nature. And I was actually among one of the first people who witnessed it. You know, I was, uh, I had just had done doing some grocery shopping and I was about to do another round of it. You know, so I had called an Uber and I'm waiting for the Uber and I went to go look for him and stuff like that. And I'm walking by, you know, my neighbor's house and I noticed, you know, she's a, she, she was a very elderly woman. She was a very elderly woman. She didn't really have no family. She only had like a couple people coming to, you know, help her out from time to time things of that nature and um and every once in a while somebody in the community will give her some help i was among one of those as well and uh i'm walking to go meet my uber and i noticed like smoke kind of seeping out of out of her her, her her mobile home and and i heard a fire alarm going off so i'm just like that's definitely not good you know so i'll go around you know what i'm saying to see if she's like maybe outside or something and uh you know, like, just to see if she's outside or, you know, I just, I just went around to go, you know, check on her, see if she's okay, because she's usually, you know what I'm saying, like, sitting out on the porch or whatever. And, uh, you know, with the door open and shit like that, you know, so instead of seeing her, I saw my other neighbor, the one directly across from her. And I'm just like, yo, like, like, do you see this shit? He was just outside kind of sitting down sunbathing. I don't think it really registered to him. And you can see the smoke from the front of, of the of, of, of the place. You know, from in front of her house and shit like that. And I'm just like, yo, you, like, you, you see what's going on? He's just like, uh, yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, yo, we got to do something. So I, I, he tries to run inside or whatever. And it's, it's too hot. Like, there's a fire. There's a fire going on in, 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 in her house, you know? So he can't even get inside to check on her and see if she's okay. So he's just like, yo, call the police. So I'm just like, all right, yeah, and that's exactly what I did. You know, at the same time, getting in my Uber ready to, you know, go do my grocery shopping because I think it goes without saying that I can't really do shit at this time. I'm not a fucking hero. I'm not about to go in there and so on and so forth, you know? So um, it just wouldn't have been wise. I can't do anything, you know? So I was just like, you know, let me, all right, I'm gonna call the cops. So I, I, called, I called them, I asked for, you know, the fire department and things of that nature and um, they, they sent them through, you know? So. As um, you know, the fire was was, you know, later on increasing. You know, I'm, I'm getting to uh, uh, I'm going to um, you know, my shopping spot or whatever to go. You know, like I said, pick up some groceries. And me and the Uber driver was talking about the situation, and I noticed like a, a, a big tall pillar of smoke from the direction we just came from. So I'm just like, okay, something like it, it got a lot worse. It got a lot worse. But of course, I didn't know how bad. You know, I'm. Know, a, a couple miles away from my crib so I do about 30 40 minutes worth of shopping I call an Uber I'm going back home to my baya and um you know uh, uh me and the Uber driver we looking at it you know on one side of the street there's um this like you know a, a, like a bunch of cars you know taking a detour so I'm thinking to myself all right they're taking a detour so a road is closed off somewhere you know what I'm saying and of course it, it was it was mine and shit like that. So I was just like, you know, I told the Uber driver, I'm just like, look, bro, um, if you can't make this turn, just go ahead, you know, drop me up at the corner, I'll walk, I'll be fine. You know, so he's just like, all right, so I got off. And um, I 
I'm looking at the, I'm like, I'm looking at the fire. I'm asking, you know, the police officers what's going on. One of which instructed me to go talk to another officer who had more knowledge of the situation and things of that nature. So I go talk to him. I'm like, hey, I live over there in that, that resident, that complex down there. You know, can you tell me what's going on? And is it possible for me to check and see if my place is okay? He was just like, well, at the current time, I'm not sure. I can't really tell you anything, but I can tell you that two or three more, you know, trailers actually caught fire because propane takes had, had you know, you exploded. So I'm thinking to myself, like, like, oh shit, like, you, you, like, damn, bro, you know, like, two, uh, uh, two or three other, you know, trailers had caught fire, you know, and and I was, I was, I was like, you know, relatively close to to, to all four. It was four in total that caught fire. And I was very, very close. I'm very, very close, you know, to those trailers, man. So I'm thinking to myself, shit, bro. Like if I got it, and that's around the time where I, where I made the video asking for brothers and sisters prayers. Then I say, you know, the water, how about shame and shop, you know, for, for, for your brothers and sisters necessarily, you know, whoever prayed for me, you know? And um, that was around the time I made the video. So I'm just kind of, you know, uh, uh, you know, just kind of, um, just waiting around just to see what would happen. You know, the, the police officer, he was talking to me, you know, for a while, you know, he had me give a statement, you know, and um, I, of course I couldn't go back. I couldn't go to my residence, uh, my resident just yet. You know, so I had one in a restaurant that I normally like going to. I was chilling in there for a while. Everybody in there was talking about it, of course, you know, and um, like, I want to say about an hour or some change later, it might've been two hours later, I went to go see if I was able to go back home. Because I saw that, you know, the, uh, the the fire trucks, they was clearing out, you know, and uh, the road was opening back up. So you had cars just, you know, passing through and shit like that. And I went to go talk to a, 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 a he looked like he was a part of the, uh, like, just a part of the, the fire response team and things of that nature. I was like, hey, like, I live over there. Is there any chance I can see my residence? Like, you know, if I can't go in there, I just, I would like to just see, you know what I'm saying? Like, from where I was standing, I was trying to see. You know, I just want to see like if my place is okay. So he was just like, yeah, no problem. So he walks me over to, um, you know, like a, a safe spot, so to speak. And I'm, I'm looking over, looking for my uh, looking for my trailer to just make sure my, my bayaf, my house is, you know, okay. And things of that nature. And, uh, you know, I look at it and I'm, you know, I, I do praises up immediately, man. And the whole day, all throughout the day, I was praying, man. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't just at that point in time, but all throughout the day I prayed, man, because I'm just like, like and I wasn't the water you have I wasn't freaking out. I wasn't freaking out. You know, I didn't I didn't cry, I didn't I wasn't screaming, I wasn't raging. It's one of those things where I was just like, you know what? I've been through worse. I've been through a lot fucking worse. You know what I'm saying? So if I gotta lose some uh some um materials, some items and things of that nature, it is what it is. I would prefer not to, but it's it's not our will, man. It's the Lord's will. You know, that's why I said what I said in the in the video. But um, thankfully, you know, Thwadi Habashim Hashah, like my crib, my, like my crib is fine. Like I, it's, it's unscathed, man. It's unscathed, you know. And and, that was, and like the Lord, and the Lord did that. And I feel like I know why. And I'm actually about to talk about it, you know, through the Spirit. I um, an elderly woman. If, if it wasn't obvious already, you know what I'm saying. I'm just making clear. She 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 did. She did pass away in, in that in that fire. She did pass away. You know what I'm saying? In that in that fire and all that smoke. Things of that nature. It was just, it was her time. It was her time. You know, so she's back up in the spirit world right now. You know, whether she was an Edomite or Jake, I'm not sure. I, I didn't really care. But uh, she's back up in the spirit world right now. She's in the right mind. You know, and um, yeah, yeah that's 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 pretty much that. And uh, the, the reason why I feel like that happened was because um, a while back it was like around the time of the Passover. A little bit, it was actually a little bit after, it was actually a little bit after, I had, you know, prayed to the Lord for, um, for fear, you know, the Hebrew word for fear, the paleo Hebrew word for fear is Yara'ah, which means a, a, a moral, a moral, um, a trembling, you know, a state of being afraid, you know, morally, and things of that nature, which, you know, read Proverbs 1 and 7, it tells you that, you know, the, uh, um, so I'll just go ahead and pull it. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, man. Yeah, Proverbs 1 and 7, it says, The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, is the beginning of knowledge. 
but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Okay, so we're supposed to fear Yahweh Shemi Hawashai. We're supposed to fear our power. Okay, and this is a respectable fear. It's, we're supposed to reverence the Most High because He is. All right, Yahweh, He is. He exists. You know, for you so-called niggas, like Latinos, the Native Americans. All right, so the fear of the Lord is beginning to acknowledge, and you know, when you don't have fear, you have America. <laughs> You know, which this place was built on a principle of, of having a lack of fear, man. That's why everybody just, you know, it, it, they, they, they just feel like they can do whatever the hell they want to do. That's the vibration pushed throughout the earth, okay? But going back to the point, I had prayed to the Lord for fear, you know, because I had a certain situation. I'm not going to go into it, you know, but I had a certain situation. And, um, you know, I, I, I was I was asking myself, I'm just like, like Lord, it, like, and, like, am I not diligent enough? Am I too slothful? You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, do I not do I not have enough? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, do I not have enough fear? And so I asked the Lord. I, I, I begged the Lord. I begged the Lord. I was just like, Lord, if I don't have enough fear, if I'm too slothful, if I'm not diligent enough, then I pray that you give me some more fear. You know, which there's nothing wrong with praying for fear, man. You know? And just because you pray for fear doesn't mean the Lord is going to kill you or, you know, crack one of your, your, your bones or whatever the case. No, it just... We, we need that fear to, you know, to continue to acknowledge the Lord and reverence Him in, in you know, in our everyday lives, man. All right. So I, I pray to the Lord for fear. You know, Yahab Hashem al not the laya, Yara'a, you know, Yahab Hashem al you know, give to me fear, you know, so I, I did pray for fear. And this was, like I said, this was around the time of the past, so about a month or some change ago. And um, I feel like that's why, you know, the, the fire broke out. The elderly woman had died, and it was so close. Like it was right there. It, like it's, it's, it was right there in my community. You know, it was right there in my community. You know, really, not too, not too, not too far from, like from my place, man. Four, four, four homes caught fucking fire, bro. You know, four homes caught fire, bro. And I'm thinking to myself the whole time, all throughout the day. You know, the water of Abashim Hashem that I, I wasn't home more. Like I said, I. I I still want to go get my groceries, man. I'm just like, I'm not stopping because of this. I can't do anything about it. What the fuck am I going to do? Sit down and watch? See what happens? You know, uh, uh, at risk of getting injured? You know, so that was that was, that was was pretty much it, man. And, you know, um, and that's that's the, the, the first very most important thing that we have to keep to ourselves in is truth. You know, brothers and sisters, like, we have to fear you. How about Shimmy How about you know, me, you know, solo camping and things of that nature. It's, 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 it's not so hard for me right now, you know, through the spirit. It's not so hard for me right now. But I remember when I first started solo camping, it was, it was very difficult for me to maintain a certain balance because it's just like, okay, you know, I, I, you know, you know, you living in the flesh. You ain't got nobody to, you know, you ain't got a brother to like really check you and correct you. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, uh, I'll lead you straight when you're going off the, 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 the path, the beaten path and things of that nature, you know, but over time, just, you know, being by myself and, you know, uh, thinking and praying and, you know, reading the scriptures, I started to get more used to it, you know, so that's why I prayed to the Lord for that fear, you know, that's why I understood what was going on in my life, you know, what 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 what, what, what was going on in my, in, my, in my complex and things of that nature, my place of residency, you know, so it, um, it made, it made, you know, national attention or whatever the case, you know, it was a lot of people just struck, just really, you know, just, you know, freaked out about it, and uh, I, um, I did end up seeing my neighbors later on. They were just like, like, dude, like, I'm like, it's so good to see you. I'm just happy you're okay. I'm just happy you're okay. You know what I'm saying? So I was supping with everybody, you know, for the most part, and um, we were just talking about it, and uh, uh, you know, the the firefighters and everybody started clearing out, and they put, they cut the power back on, and I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna just go ahead and chill out for the evening, man. Let me just go ahead and chill out for the evening. Lord's willing, you know, when I wake up, I'm going to go ahead and do the video. I'm going to go ahead and do the video. Let brothers and sisters know that I'm okay. I'm fine. Everything is straight, you know, because the Lord made it that way, you know. But it's, it's important to fear Yahweh Hashem in our everyday walk. And I'm not I, and I'm not disappointed, man. I'm not not in the least. When it happened, I was actually very grateful. I was telling my, my friend in the world when I was at the restaurant, I was on the phone with him for a good while. And stuff like that and I was telling him I was just like yo I'm so happy that this fire happened I'm so happy it happened you know because it's, it's one of those things where and brothers brothers in this truth like we go through shit bro we like we go through shit we have to 
if you're not going through anything, that's when you should be worried. All right, as a matter of fact, <laughs> let me just go ahead and get that real quick. All right, this is the book of Hebrews. Let me see. chapter 12 verse 5 I'm going to start at verse 5 Hebrews 12 and 5 because yeah, this is once again going back to the point that if you're not going through anything any type of temptation any type of trouble or tribulation in this truth you are not like you are doing you are not doing something right man uh, you should you should actually be worried you know you should actually be worried man that's why it's, it's okay to pray for, for more faith it's okay to pray for for fear for more fear all right, it's okay to pray for for anything that you feel like you're lacking or in want of in the spirit, man. All right, because what? That's how you grow thereby. Whether you're in a camp, you know, full of brothers or not. All right, because what? Pursuant to Second Corinthians thirteen and five, the scriptures say, "What? Examine yourselves whether you be in the faith, man." All right. But going back to the point, Hebrews twelve and five it says, "And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you is unto children." My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. So this was, in so many words, in, in, in such case, a rebuke for me. Okay? It is, this was, this was, this was an experience. You know, uh, uh, you know, thankfully, you know what I'm saying, like my place of residency, it, it didn't get touched. Even though, you know what I'm saying, like our, our homes all, pretty much all are on, on national fucking media, but it's just like, I, you know, through the spirit, I fear no man. You know, so I'm not, I'm not afraid of somebody coming up here, you know, trying to fucking rob me, things of that nature. You know, yeah, how forbid that happens? Then Psalms 144 and one is gonna have to come out, man. You know, and if you don't know what that is, look it up. But that Psalms 144 and one is gonna have to come out. You know, but yeah, how about saying our is, is our protector? All right, but the Lord also rebukes us. He he has to check us. All right, the scriptures talk about acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. You know, but continuing on, it says, and ye have forgotten the exhortation, um, Hebrews 12 and 5, and ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children, my son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. All right, because you got, you know, a, a lot of brothers in the street coming from all different walks of life. They got certain um, uh, 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 spells and demons and spirits on them. And, and what? Yahweh Shem Shot checks them. You know, the Lord checks us whenever he feels like it's appropriate. Okay? Like like a well, it's about to go into it, so I'll just go ahead and read. Verse 6. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. So the, and that's plain, bro. That's plain. And scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. Alright, brothers coming into the faith. You know, the scriptures talk about counting the cost. You know, just like you go, just like Jake, regular average Jake, go through shit in the world. All right, they go through it, you know, in, for, in, a, in, a, in a sense of vanity because they don't understand why they're going through what they're going through. So they curse the most high, you know, or they curse themselves or whatever. You know, they don't understand why they're going through what they're going through. But in this truth, in this ministry, we understand why we, why we go through the shit that we go through. All right. It says, the scourge of every son whom he receiveth. Verse 7, Hebrews 12 and 7. If ye endure chastening, the most high dealeth with you. As with sons, for what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? Yeah, so because what well, you're not a son, you're not a son of the Most High if he's not checking your ass at, at you know not every single day and things of that nature. But but what? Whenever you go up, you either have 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 Yahweh Shah checking, all right, through the Spirit, or you have a brother if you want to camp. You have a brother check you. All right, I'm talking about like like come down on you, man. You know, like like hound you out. You know, you have to receive that 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 uh, that that chastisement if you go off. You know, or sometimes it's even just because because what we're, we're we're not we're not in the kingdom right now. We're we're in hell. We're on punishment because of our transgressions. All right, against the Most High. You know, uh, Hebrews twelve and eight. It says, "But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all ye." Excuse me, it says, but if you be without chastisement, 
whereof all are partakers, then ye are bastards and not sons, okay? So if you're not catching hell, then there's something wrong with that, man. There's something wrong if you're not catching hell, man. All right, you don't have brothers in the truth who gave testimonies of their family members dying. You know what I'm saying? Like like one at a time, you know, within a span of like a month or a year. You got testimony of brothers, you know, uh, of brothers crashing their cars, you know, but them still being whole, no injury and things of that nature. It's it's, it's one of those things where just like it's, it's, it's just chastening. We're just getting our asses beat, man. All right. Verse nine, it says, furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, which corrected us and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of Spirits and live? So there you go, man. So, so then the scriptures uh, say this as well. Um, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. All right, because that's the spirit, and that's uh, that's coming from the book of Job. I forgot what chapter it was, but uh, that's coming from the book of Job, man. And if if you know Job Ayawab, which his name is hated, and persecuted. All right, Job, he, he and that's exactly what he he, he was, man. He was. He was hated, man. He was hated, you know, not by the most high, but you know, it, it, like he, he was persecuted. He was given tribulation. I'll say it like that. He was given tribulation. All right. Ayawab, Job, he was, he was, he was given, you know, much tribulation, man. Job lost it all, man. He lost his family. You know what I'm saying? His friends turned on him. He lost his resources, his wherewithal. All right. But he still continued to trust in the Lord, man. And that's the spirit. That's the lot that, that we have to continue to be in. You know, because uh, uh, Job was pretty much a poster boy for the elect and what, you know, we will go through because the scriptures talk about how we have not yet resisted unto blood, all right? Meaning what? We haven't gone through anything yet, all right? Jacob's trouble has not happened yet, but it's on its way. And through the spirit, we can see that, right? And that was, that was pretty much the point on that, all right? So we, we have fathers in the flesh who, who checked us. Our parents, you know, checked us, beat our asses with canes and extension cords and belts and shoes and switches, <laughs> you know? So so we have to get checked whenever we do something wrong. And, and like I said earlier, um, even if you quote unquote didn't do anything wrong, like in that particular point in time, we gotta remember this scripture right here. This is the book of Micah. Chapter 7, verse 9, okay, because what? Uh, a reincarnation does exist, by the way. Our right, reincarnation exists in what we are, our forefathers, who have sinned in the ancient world, you know, in, in generations, you know, afterwards, we're, we're our forefathers coming back, you know? Ultimately, all of Israel has sinned before the eyes of, of the Heavenly Father, man. All of Israel has, has sinned. All right, and we, our glory has turned into shame. You know, a prize possession, you know, re reduced to, you know, dumb, reduced to a dumb hill. Okay. So in the book of Micah, Micah 7 and 9, it says, I will bear the indignation of the Lord Yahweh because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. All right, so there you go. That, and that's the spirit. Every single brother, if you call yourself a man of the Lord or Israelite, or being in the truth, whatever the case is, we have to always be in the spirit. We have to bear the indignation of your, of, of, of your Habashim Yahabashai. We got to bear the indignation, the righteous anger of the Lord because we sinned against him. We transgressed his law, statutes, and, and his commandments, man. All right? So we, we got to bear our punishments. You know, I had to bear that, 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 that um that that feeling that fleshly feeling of worry and fear okay be because i know i sinned against you how about shimmy how was shy you know and as soon as as soon as like i i i i heard about everything that happened after i got back from shopping i was just like i know exactly why this happened i know exactly why this happened i prayed for fear man and you know how about shimmy how shy he damn sure gave it to me man you know he damn sure gave it to me, and and that's and, and that's that's good. That's a that's, that's a righteous thing, man. This this it's a righteous thing, you know. And um, it's one of those things where just like and, and you know even after that, I was still like it, I was dwelling on it for a while. I was like, like damn, yeah, but like this this is like my neighbor's house. My neighbor's a, a mobile home. It's literally I, it's not even ten fucking feet away. I can, 
it's not even fucking 10 feet away. And, and his, his shit is through, you know? You know, his 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 trailer's through, and, and the three others, you know, outside of it, you know, including the old, uh, the elderly woman, you know, who, who passed on in the fire, all right? The Lord, the Lord, you know, took her spirit back up, and things of that nature. Like, they, like, they, they trailers is fucking through, man. But mine is, is, is unscathed, man, and I was just like, you know, the Yahaba Shem is awesome, man. The, the Lord is amazing. The Lord is amazing, bro. All right? But yeah, that was that was pretty much the point on that. You know, in this walk, once again, we we have to keep that that fear of the Lord on us every single day. All right. Let me go ahead and get this in the book of Ecclesiasticus called Sirach in the Apocrypha. Okay. Chapter. Forty-three, and I'm gonna start at verse twenty-eight. All right, because once again, uh, uh, once again, the, the Lord is magnificent. The Lord is amazing, man. Right? You know what I'm saying? It's everything that goes on in His life. Looking at the prophecies that's been rolling and coming to pass, we, we like the scriptures. I mean, they they've been, you know, the scriptures have always been alive. The scriptures have always been moving. The prophecies have always been going. But just watching it right before our very eyes, it's just like, oh shit, like, like, oh. Ah, you know this scripture right here. Oh, the, the Lord was talking about this, and at this point in time, like it's, it's it's amazing just to witness it, man. All right, and that and that's just the power of the heavenly Father. His word is bond, you know. But this is the book of Sirach, chapter forty-three, verse twenty-eight. How shall we be able to magnify Him, for He is great above all His works? The Lord is terrible and very great, and marvelous is His power. When you glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as you can, for even yet will he far exceed. And when you exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary, for you can never go far enough. Yeah, the scriptures talk about praying without ceasing, man. All right. Yeah, you can't you can't throw up enough prayers for the Lord. And I'm not talking about vain repetitions. I'm not talking about vain repetitions because that's what these Muslims do and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, but. You know, you can never throw up enough prayers, you know, to the Lord, you know, thanking him or begging him for something because what he's always going to far exceed your expectations. This far exceeded my expectations. I prayed for fear. I thought it was going to be like something to, to, to happen, like to, to, you know, the physical me personally or something like that. That's what I was. That's what my, my carnal mind was thinking. That's what my carnal mind was thinking. You understand what I'm saying? I didn't realize that. I, I'm just, I didn't realize I was, it was going to uh, uh, affect a bunch of people behind me, uh, 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 um, around me, excuse me. I didn't realize I was, it was going to affect people around me, man. You know, and Yahaba he didn't do, he didn't just do this just because I asked for it. It was time for that, 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 that elderly woman to pass on. You know what I'm saying? It was just, it was just time for, for this situation to just happen. It's not like I was meditating on it. You know, it just, I just prayed to the Lord. I just simply prayed to you, how about you outside for fear? And this is what happened. And that, and that damn sure shook me up, man. All right. It says, verse 31, who have seen him that he might tell us and who can magnify him as he is. There are yet hid greater things than these be. For we have seen but a few of his works. For the Lord hath made all things into the godly, have he given wisdom? All right, so there you go, man. All right, the Most High is great above all His works. All right, and we've only see, uh, seen a few of them. You know, we're gonna we're gonna be seeing a lot more, it's, and it's, a lot of them is really all through the scriptures, man. The plagues of Egypt. All right, what's about to happen to America? You know, spiritually called Egypt, Sodom and Gomorrah, Babylon. All right, we're about to see a lot more of His works. You know. And what is the scripture say to the godly have you given wisdom so we know to you know to do our research our we know to, to give our due diligence and go into into you know these these scrolls you know and look for the history and look and see what happened to our forefathers in the days of old and you know the the, the tribulation they went through and how Yahweh Hashem and Hashem was able to you know deliver them from those those situations man all right, when they was being persecuted by their own or some even when they went to war, all right, and things of that nature when they committed adultery and so on and so forth. But just it's, it's just so many accounts in the scriptures, man. And we have to reference them. Romans fifteen to four. I'm not gonna pull it, but 
You can look it up for yourselves. All right. Let me get this in the book of Psalms, chapter 33. This is the book of Psalms. Chapter 33. Oh, there we go. Psalms 33 and 20. It says, Our soul waited for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. Alright, so there you go. Yahab Hashem and Hashem is our help and our shield, man. All right, the Hebrew word for, for shield is magan, all right? The Lord is our protector. Like when you go to war, you gotta like like that movie, uh, 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 300, you know? With our, uh, Leonidas and, and those those 300 men, all right? Well, the elders then came out and said that those were actually Israelites, man. All right, but that's, you know, Lord's willing to maybe a video for another day. All right, but what, when you go to war, it, we, we went, when we went to war in the ancient world, we had, we had swords, we had spears, we had slings, we had shields. All right, so Yahabba Shem is is what? A, a shield to us, he's our protector, all right? That's what these scriptures is. The scriptures is a sword and a shield simultaneously, all right? And and that's why we have to continue to read and, and lean on the Lord, man. Look at Ephesians, the sixth chapter. Put on the whole armor of Yahabba Shem all right? Yahabba Shem is our help. I did a video not too long ago talking about, um, and I brought up the scripture, uh, fear not thou worm Jacob, all right? But I will help thee, you know. So Yahweh Hashem Hashem is gonna help us. The Lord is gonna deliver us. The Lord is our vengeance. The Lord is our protection. All right. It says our soul waited for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. All right. So there you go. You know. Next chapter over. Psalms 34, verse six. It says the poor. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him. And saved him out of all his troubles. That's talking about us. Alright? You know, through the Spirit. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and deliver them. So what man? If I wasn't in the spirit, if I if I didn't consider all things, you know, from, from videos I've watched, uh stories in the scriptures that I've uh, read, you know, words of brothers from, from a, a long time ago, you know, watching the elders. If I didn't consider any of these things, then, then what? An angel, an angel wouldn't have been around me. Shit, man. And, and me and me and me and the the me and the cop was talking about it. He was just like, you know, thankfully, like he wasn't in bed sleep or nothing like that, and all of that started popping off. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, you are absolutely fucking right, man. You know, because that could have happened, man. You know, for brothers and sisters who know my situation, my past situation, you know, about my disobedience and all the falling out. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. It is what it is, but but there, there was a span of time where I wasn't in the truth. Where if I wasn't, and I was thinking about this too, I didn't beat myself up, I didn't kill myself over it, as I used to tend to do a lot. But I was just like, damn, bro, if, if I wasn't in the truth, if I wasn't in the spirit, I could have like my place more than likely would have fucking caught fire because what? I know the truth, but I'm being a wicked ass nigga, you know. But thankfully, thankfully, the Wadi Habashim outside that wasn't the case. The case was. The Lord, the Lord put some fucking fear inside of me, man. You know? Because what? If I wasn't in the spirit, if I wasn't in the truth, if I wasn't doing what the fuck I was supposed to do, the Lord would have murked my ass, man. If I was a, if I was sincerely a wicked ass nigga, bro, the Lord would have murked my ass, bro. Alright? It says the angel of the Lord, Psalms 34 and 7, the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. You gotta trust in the Lord, man. You can't trust in man. You can't trust in these cops. You can't trust in these firefighters, man. All right? Yeah, these niggas got they high, uh, uh, they, they hoses, they big fire trucks. You know, they, they got the uh, uh, um, elements to, to put up fires or whatever the case, but the Lord was the one who put the, uh, put the fucking fire out, man. It wasn't them, you know? The Lord put that fucking fire on, man. The Lord protected my crib. You know, my bayah. All right? Verse 9. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints. For there is no want to them that fear him. Yeah, that word want means to lack. All right? It says, oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints. Yeah, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? 
fear the Lord, you saints. You know, all you brothers and sisters that believe. It says, for there is no one to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. All right, yeah, we're not going to lack in any good thing, man. We have all of our wherewithal right here in this book, man, and in the spirit with that Rakak Badash. All right, that's why we read. That's why, once again, we give our due diligence. Okay? Now, what's the point on that? All right, so so what? When we lean on your Yahweh, when we trust in the Lord, all right, look at, what, uh, uh, look at Daniel and the lions then, man. There's so many examples in the scriptures. All right? Daniel and the lions then, man. All right? The three holy children in, in the book of, uh, um, uh, in the Apocrypha, man. You know? When they was thrown in the furnace and that fire did not touch them because they believed on Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Look at their situation. You know? Hebrews the 11th chapter, if you, if you can't follow with every single account, Hebrews the 11th chapter, where it's actually talking about faith, gives you a rundown of just about everything, you know? Uh, 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 certain backgrounds of, of, of our forefathers, you know, and foremothers, okay? That, 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 that went through a certain trial and tribulation, but the Lord delivered them out of those tribulations, man, safely. Because what? They, they believed on him. All right. Next chapter over Psalm chapter um, 35, verse two, it says, take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for mine help. So there you, <laughs> matter of fact, I'll start at verse one. So like I'll stand, I'll start at verse one. It says, plead my cause, O Lord, Yahweh, with them that strive with me, fight against them that fight against me. Yeah, and what? We're, we're fighting against spiritual elements, man. All right, we're fighting against spiritual elements. We're fighting against our adversary, Satan. You know, which the, the physical Satan is Esau, Edom. All right, the red man. It says, take hold in wicked spirits, man, whether it be from our people or the other people. It says, take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for mine help. All right, so what we want, once again, we want the Lord to, to stand up for us. We want the Lord to, 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 to preserve us from any type of hurt. All right. Even though we're, we're about to, you know, go through, you know, physical hurt, physical harm and things of that nature. All right. Because once again, the, the hour of Jacob's trouble is upon us. All right. So if you identify as a, as a Hebrew Israelite, even a Christian. All right. If you if you speak out, do any type of work or service speaking out against the government. All right, you, you just better know. All right. You you, you went for a, a rude awakening, man, from these damn devils out here. All right. But that was the point on that. Um, yeah, that was the point on that. Let me go ahead and get this in the book of uh, 1 Corinthians. All right, then I'm going to close out here through the Spirit. This is the book of 1 Corinthians. All right, once again, Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Yahweh Shem Yahushai is our help. All right, our, our ultimate support, our secure, our secure, all right, our helping hand, our support system, all right, so it's, it's imperative for us all the time, you know, Tham Yad, uh, Tham Yad, always, all right, Tham Yad, always to, to lean on the Lord for, for, for anything that we need in the truth, man, no matter how big or small the matter is, all right, this is the book of First Corinthians chapter 10, First uh, uh, Corinthians chapter uh, 10, verse 13, it says, There have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to men. But Yahweh is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. All right, and um, I brought that out not only because of the situation. Because like I said, it, it, it's, it's one of those things where just like, but, and that's why the scriptures say they have no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man, because what? Man goes through things every single day, man. All right. And us even being in this truth, knowing the name of the heavenly father and the son. All right. Knowing the scriptures and breaking them down. 
all right according to our uh, 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 proportion and level of faith all right with, with understanding with the spirit all right we're still gonna have to go through shit we're still gonna have to go through things man all right just like Yah Yahweh the king of Israel okay the king of Israel the son of the most I had to go through tribulation and the scriptures say what the servant is not greater than his Lord if he went through it we damn sure gonna have to go through it man no no man is exempt no man is above rebuke all right and, and so what the, the things that we go through we, we we're able to you know uh, through the Holy Spirit that we're comfortable with us we're able to think about it spiritually all right but what it says the most high is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able all right so with me witnessing the smoke coming out of you know the, the elderly ladies um the elderly woman's um uh, uh, uh you know home her by yacht and things of that nature at the same time a uber is, is about to you know like like take me to go you know for me to go do my shopping so just like the, the Lord transported me away from that situation, so that way I did not get hurt, bro. And that's why, like, I was so like, I'm like, if I'm th like, if, if looking at it, because that's exactly what's about to happen in, in the end times, man. In, in World War III, when Yahweh Shai and the angels come back, when Yahweh Shai come, uh, come with the angels, all right? When when the skies are flooded with with, with chariots, man. You know, so-called UFOs, if you will, if you can receive it, okay? I'm thinking to myself, the Lord sent a, a, a rakab, all right, which, which means chariot, all right, in the Hebrew, all right, the Lord sent a rakab or marakab, all right, to, to transport me out of there. So that way I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even have to hear or, or, or experience None of what the hell happened in the time that I was away, bro. And I'm just like that, and that's that's really why I was so grateful and I was so thankful, man. I'm just like I didn't have to experience none of that shit, man. And that's exactly what's gonna happen in the hour of a uh, 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 World War Three when the Lord come back, the elect is gonna get beamed up, okay? And and Lord's willing, we a part of that. With Lord's willing, I'm a part of that number. I the one, Ratazza one. You know, we we gonna we gonna be brothers and sisters. We gonna be looking down. At the destruction from above, man. We're gonna be looking down below from the uh, 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 at that damn destruction. You know when the uh, uh, missiles is being shot and things of that nature. I'm and I, like and I, I'm, I'm like the whole time I'm going through this. All of the, like so many scriptures is going through my mind, bro. You know I was just like like my spirit was like like I was on it, man. I was on it, you know. And once again, man, you know the water, you know to your brothers and sisters, you know who threw a praise for me. And things of that nature, and, and I, I just I, I really appreciate it, man. I'm, I'm praying, I'm praying for brothers and sisters, you know, all the time, man. Praying for the elders, praying for, you know, who, whoever, man. You know, whether you fucking like me or not, man. I, I look, I'm, I'm praying for, I'm, I'm praying we all continue to repent, you know. You know, because what you don't repent just one time. We repent. We're supposed to be repenting every single day. All right, we're supposed to be repenting and getting better every single day. All right, we're always in want of something. We're always lacking something. So that's why we need to depend on Yahweh Shem Yahushua to, to, to give us that wherewithal that's gonna keep us moving. And one of the biggest resources or wherewithals, you know, that, that we require is, is, is faith, man. Okay, and fear. Faith and fear are of the Heavenly Father and the Son. All right? That was my testimonial. Um. Rocket day, how about shimmy how shy, man? You know, uh, uh, what if, uh, um, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, your prayers and all, uh, until next time, man. You know, Shamar, uh, Shamar Batak, Shamar Batak, I can walk by the other one.